Hi Cancer, this is your September 6th through September 12th weekly tarot reading. I do multiple spreads per reading. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We've got the Knight of Cups, the Devil, the Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, another Cancer Scorpio or Pisces, or you could be dealing with a Capricorn. <clears throat> so. The Devil is most likely uh, the card that interests everybody the most here. So the Devil is the personal Capricorn card or it's something very tempting, really, really tempting. But at the same time, uh, it's going to make you think twice about it. So let's start from the beginning. We have the Knight of Cups. This is either another water sign making you an offer, coming forward with their Cup of Love. Um, right, um, another Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but most likely the Knight of Cups is all about a very emotional and genuine love offer. To me personally, when I say the Knight of Cups, to, it represents someone who really, really does have uh, deep emotions for you. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, right? This is a golden opportunity. It's a very shiny, very attractive offer. So uh, it's not only about emotions here with the Knight of Cups, but it's also a golden opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles. It could literally change your life and make it better in some way. Because you see, if you take a closer look at the Ace of Pentacles, we do have this pathway in the right bottom corner. This is the pathway to new life for you. So perhaps you have your doubts, because this person will promise you everything they want to give you everything, they want to share everything they have with you and that's why you will experience this devil card moment because you will have your doubts but at the same time like I said it's very very tempting or you're dealing with a Capricorn and uh, you're gonna need some time to think about it that's what I see in the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is all about you know trying to see if this person is actually telling you the truth, if this offer is not something they are over exaggerating perhaps the offer is so good and uh, we all know if something looks too good to be true it could be something fake right so you have your doubts cancer yes you do with the two of pentacles but like i said the offer is amazing with both the knight of cups and the ace of pentacles Cancer, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads, depending on how the situation unfolds. We'll take a look at what to expect between you and this person, and we'll get you an advice. I do extensions for new love only, because that's what people are interested in the most. Cancer, if you are already married or if you are already in a relationship, this spread is for you. We've got the King of Wands, we have the Five of Wands, the Hermit, and the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries Day, or Sagittarius, or you could be dealing with a Virgo. But I'm pretty sure who you are dealing with, right? Unfortunately, the two of you are going to get into a major, major fight this week. We've got both the Five of Wands and the Five of Swords. Both cards are about a conflict or some kind of a problem or like I said a fight. So hopefully both of you can uh, remember that the two of you are adults and uh, we are in each other's lives to make each other's lives better not to make it worse. So if at all possible please avoid this uh, fight and uh, figure shit out like two adults. All right, we've got the King of Wands. This is either your significant other, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or somebody just becomes too passionate and too fiery with a very short temper. So that that could be the reason for this fight, right? And the Hermit is either a Virgo you're dealing with, or this is the aftermath. Both of you will have to spend some time by yourselves and uh, do some soul searching and figure out if it's actually worth to continue this relationship. So hopefully, like I said, you can avoid the fight and um, you know figure it out like two adults. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you this week. We've got the nine of ones, the death card, the five of cups, and the wheel of fortune on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. 
So unfortunately for whoever it is that's coming back around for you Cancer, um, you are done with them. You're not even open to this person in your life at all whatsoever. You, we've got the nine of ones here, the first card on the left, this is a card of a wounded warrior, this is you putting up a wall between you and this person, death. Here is either a Scorpio you're dealing with, but most likely this is the relationship itself that ended at some point in the past and uh, that's the way you want it to be, dead. You're done with this person. And uh, the Five of Cups is most likely this person looking back and regretting the things that went wrong, regretting what they did to you in the past, but it's not going to help them. It's kind of like no matter what they say or do, I think you've made up your mind. We've got the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. This is you moving forward. Or perhaps you are already in a relationship with another person. And the Wheel of Fortune symbolizes that relationship, that new cycle that you have already started with somebody else. So unfortunately for this ex, the answer is uh, absolutely not. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Cancer, this week. We've got the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or you could be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So we've got a lot of court cards. <laughs> we've got two Queens and the King. Um, what I think is going to happen this week is you are teaming up with somebody. It doesn't have to be a single person, it could be more than one person you're teaming up with. So we do have this couple here, the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. So it could be a power couple. You know, out of all suits, the uh, Swords couple is most likely the most powerful because they do have swords, <laughs> right? I don't mean to belittle any other signs or any other um, suits, but uh, you could be assuming the energy of one of these uh, cards, the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. This is definitely a power couple here, and perhaps you're building something together, and you're collaborating with other people as well. We also have the Queen of Wands here, right? Yeah. And uh, the Knight of Swords, yet another Swords card. This is something that needs to be addressed ASAP. So perhaps somebody comes forward with an offer to start a new business or to invest some money or to form some kind of a collaboration, a project or even a new company. And the suggestion here I think is to jump on this opportunity and go forward really, really quickly. Yeah. But uh, overall this is a good spread. You are working with other people, you could be forming uh, partnerships, you could be starting a new job and all these people are surrounding you are your new uh, colleagues at work, something among those lines. But I think this is a good positive spread for you. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen this week, Cancer. We've got the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Empress, clarified by the Two of Cups. And we have the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Wow, Cancer, just wow. I was saving best for last, and by the way, this is one of the best spreads I've done so far for this week. The Ace of Cups is the best card when it comes to love offers. Right, The Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck, the card on the right, is one of the best cards when it comes to... Uh, Emotionally fulfilling, happy relationships, the type of a relationship that leads to marriage with kids. If we take a closer look at the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck, we do see a couple of adults and a couple of kids jumping around, right? So this is the potential outcome, or this is what's on the line here. Besides the Ace of Cups, we have the Knight of Swords. This is either an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, who you're dealing with. Or this is the energy of somebody unexpectedly showing up in your life. I don't know if this is going to be a new person or someone you already know, but this person is going to sweep you off your feet. They're not going to make an attempt to sweep you off your feet. They will sweep you off your feet, period. And uh, I think they mean good <laughs> with all these cards here. 
We also have the Empress clarified by the Two of Cups, right? The Empress is um, one of the best cards in the deck. It's actually the mother of the Terra deck. The Empress is someone who doesn't require, who doesn't need introduction. The Empress is um, here to oversee this relationship or to uh, help you guys out. And uh, it could be the way they look at you, this new person, they see you as the Empress, their Empress. And the Empress could also be all about uh, pre being pregnant. <laughs> so in the future, this person does see you as uh, the mother or the father of their future children, right? And the Empress is clarified by the Two of Cups. Two of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to uh, love. It's... To me personally, when I see the Two of Cups, it means that the two of you are on the same page and the feelings are mutual. So I would have to assume that most likely you already know this person. Or if this is someone brand new, then the two of you will fall madly in love very soon after the two of you meet. Okay, so this is, like I said, one of the best spreads so far for this week. And I think you have uh, something beautiful coming towards you. So hopefully this lasts forever and ever. And uh, congratulations, Cancer. Other than that, have a fantastic week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.